my quote for today is, too much of a good thing can be wonderful by Mae West. I myself personally disagree with this quote. Having too much of a good thing can be very bad for you. Let's just say um, taking medication, medication for you, you keep on taking it more and more. Um, you become an addict. You become very addicted with this medication. Or whereas you could have like drinking a monster and you have it every morning, you're gonna start becoming addicted to drinking that beverage every single morning. And too much of that makes you become an addict. Like having that wonderful thing can be wonderfully a bad thing for you in this day of time since we've all been taking a lot of either substance or drugs. Um, refreshments full of um, sugary products and other such as um, or having of waking up late for class. That could also be very addicted to us, very addicting to for everyone here. Because I normally wake up very very late for this class and was probably at I hopefully I do get here at time and for this day for this time it's pretty um for this time we should be more productive, more on time, be more enthusiastic at some time and yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, you use your quote as the attention device. I think that's a little bit problematic. We do get a point of view on what you're talking about, though. So there is a kind of a thesis uh, idea that you're going through, which I think helps a bit. Although it seems to change because you, instead of talking about uh, having too much of something, you start talking about addiction. So I guess that's kind of the application that you're making of the topic. Uh, but then you know, I think you should have a clearer explanation that that is what you're going to be talking about. There is no preview of what the supporting structure is going to be. You just type, kind of dive right into examples, and you've got a couple of examples. They're a little repetitive of one another. Um, the, the idea of medications and then monster drinks uh, or something like that, some kind of energy drink. Um, there's no, no real story that goes along with any of this. Everything is sort of abstract. Um, you do make a, a reasonable point, but it's not told in a, a very interesting way, so I think you need to add some content here. Your voice projects pretty well, the pacing is going okay, but your facial expressions and eye contact are way off. You tend to look off into the corners or uh, off to the side and instead of engaging the audience. Um, there are virtually no gestures. There's one spot where you raise your hands a little bit and mostly you end up doing a little hand washing in front of us. You know, that kind of thing where people do that sort of thing and then your hands drop down again. So I, it, you don't really look engaged in, in talking to us. You're not giving us that visual feedback that suggests that you are, you know, deeply entrenched in what you're talking about. You stand still the whole time, which I think does show a little bit of confidence, but also suggests that you're not quite as, um, in, you know, like I said, in, 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 there's not the same sense of immediacy that we would like to have in the presentation. Uh, you start wandering around on the topic thinking, oh, what am I going to say next, what am I going to say next, and then you just kind of bail out at the end. Uh, I like the idea of coming back to your purpose statement, but uh, you, know, you, you want to just, you want to avoid the, well, that's it kind of exit. Okay, thank you, that's it. <laughs>